Okay, form design. Okay, uh, we have looked at. Hello, I need full attention now. We have looked at uh, database as a concept. We have learned how we create database, starting from the fo uh, creating the folder, creating the database, and uh, we created the tables. We implemented data type, input, input masks, format, yeah, lookup, and then also her favorite subject, relationship, yeah, <laughs> again, okay, all right. We also need to learn about forms. In fact, before we enter the, uh, before we enter the data, we could have created the forms as well. Okay, but even now to learn about the forms would be a good idea. Okay, now what are the main purpose of forms? We use forms for what? What did we say we use forms for at the beginning? To? To hand or to? What's a better? Uh, to enter. To enter data into the database system that's one Th the second one is it starts with V can you tell me to to what to view okay to view ah all right but to view yeah to give the data a visit yes but to view the data we have one at a time you see tables we see all of them in record in lots of records hello I need full attention, but with forms, we can look at one at a time. Also, we can use it to edit. Okay? Form design is a big part of database because it's a part that interacts with the user. We look at the form. We want it to look nice. We want it to be easy to use. Okay? So we are going to talk about form design now. Okay. Uh, what we need to consider it is the interface that sits between the user and the application the database application so it connects the database application and the user we are important aren't we as users so that's why form is also very very important because it talks with us yeah it must be user friendly it has to be simple to use. It is a vital part of the look hi here, please. It's vital part of the design because it's what the user sees. Yeah, if the form is nice, they are likely to like your database. If you are get if you are charging them, it's important that they like it because when they like it, when one customer like it, another customer also would ask you to do the same. There would be business. So, to create something people like is very, very important. Always start with paper designs. Uh, principles of form design. It's not a good idea to have a cluttered screen. Look the lines you have left and right. People like pattern. The lines is this way and the, the other way. It's not good. Uh, when it's simple, uncluttered screen, it's better. Even uncluttered screen at the top here, you can see it. Think of contrast always. Yeah? Uh, make use of techniques such as large fonts for the form. Yeah? Especially for the headings. Color and bold to highlight headings. Okay? Large, and font, large font and bold. Don't have too many effects. Just because you, ch you can change the fonts, you don't want to change the. F you, can, you don't want to have more than two types or three types of fonts. That's maximum. Yeah. So don't have too many effects on one screen. No more than two fonts should be used. Sometimes three, but two is usually better. Color should be carefully considered. Again, not too many colors, but there has to be enough contrast. 
fonts that are easy to read such as sans serif fonts are better database is online yeah you cannot use sans serif serif font for websites or for database they are the same yeah because people have to read it easily like tahoma is nice tahoma is a very nice font even for your website you can consider it yeah and there are other sans serif fonts which you can consider as well yeah like calibri it ha you have to choose some you know a calm color imagine having a red background on the form a red background on the website on a uh, on your website not very good any useful instruction should be included to help the user like for example here tick paid if the video is returned late and the user has paid the fine okay always you can have a rough design sometimes you use a wizard you may not need uh, need the design but it depends on your on the purpose if you are doing a form for a shop you have to have a rough design for us what they what would be nice for that shop okay uh, on your design always make sure you have a template for example it, it could have a title and quit all, all the forms could follow that same same size heading logo on all of them when you keep that house style it makes it better yeah uh, always you need to write the name of the form this is a design oh what is the name of the form the title the button the quit button you could have you could base it on this and then you could add other things oh I'm gonna have fields so you know whatever you are going to add on your design okay but for the health club you don't need to design you know it's just a simple form you are going to create but for the main menu for example how it's going to look like you need to make a design okay so that is the uh, principles of forms okay how do we create it practically that's uh, another thing we are going to look at okay those of you who did the level two know already okay so you are going to help me with this part okay we are going to open the database look hello this is Joseph's database right okay we look at the all right open it all right uh, he has done three tables right yeah. now we are going to do we are going to create uh, forms but Mazan is going to help me here come come here Let him. not not you does this same why <laughs> yeah. okay we want to all right you focus first all right yeah, I brought you here because I want you to be focused okay it's not relationship we are creating now <laughs> yeah, she's talking about the relationship all the time we want to create a form okay how do we create a form Mahabuba do you remember we can create forms in different ways uh, we can we can click on create please Cri click on create oh no uh, close it please we don't want to create this way no 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 here D don't save it okay all right when you create create on this on the form part on the form part we have the form just says form it creates form straight away it, it tries to guess what kind of form you want or there is a form design from scratch okay now if you are creating a main menu the form design is is a better way you can create it for other forms as well yeah especially if you are creating for a customer and they want special requirements but but usually the form the wizard would be also an easier way of quick way of creating uh, a form okay so for now can you create form uh, wizard please
okay form wizard all right and uh, what we have now is what we have now is a form wizard okay at the top this part this is where we choose the table name okay we choose the table name first we are going to create one for member table so choose member from there please okay all right uh, so we have chosen the member table so f once we choose uh, don't try to do it now you do it later on please yeah now I want you to give me full attention uh, look it's a common seat here near comes and sit near Joseph there next uh, all right once the first thing we need to pick is F Fatima we pick the table we are creating a form okay then after picking the table what do we pick we have to pick something that starts with F what would that be we need to pick the Maria is selling uh, can we listen to Maria F we need to pick we need to pick the fields okay fields okay so we want all the fields so we have two arrows one arrow is single arrow or double arrow okay if we want all of them which one do we pick double arrow okay and oh we can you can put it back he's just practicing <laughs> okay click on the double arrow and then what do wh what is a likely need button we need we, we need to press next do you really need to remember it no but do you need to read what's in front of you yes click next okay you have three choices four choices the first one is columnar the second one is tabular tabular is like what like a like a table okay data sheet is like spreadsheet type yeah and or the one I like is Anwar oh choose oh okay show us yeah 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 all right <laughs> okay choose justified please that is more like a form all right <laughs> click next hello click next and this is a member form right okay with the names this is a form right Th so the best way of naming the form is at the beginning just add a click here inside please add frm frm form hello so frm member so we are saying this is a form okay no no frm small letter and no space if it's a name no space if it's a name uh mahbuba your name has this got a space in between your first name just your first name yeah m h m a no space right the same here no space okay within computer always even if it allows it's not a good idea no space okay click on finish oh we have created the form you see a table we can look at the table from design view and a data sheet view with the form where, we where, 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 where this came from? okay that's that's good all right okay view wait we will come to that we can look at the form yeah and can you see at the top left there the, the different views what views do we have we have the form view can you read this, read it for us what's the next one okay layout view is to look at the layout of the form design view to be able to edit it to add other items to it to change the color we can make change to it or we can look at the form view to be able to see at the data let's have a look at the form view please okay 
and navigate at the using the uh, buttons at the, t at, the, at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. It's what are we looking at? What are we looking at? We are looking at the data one record at a time. Hello. We are looking at the one. We are looking at one record at a time. One record at a time. All of them are there. A table will allow us to look at look now. If if I try to open the same table, it's going to. If I want to add on this, oh, it allowed me. Uh, because it's not the first one. It's the third one. Okay, all right. We'll come back uh, to you on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we look at the one record at a time, whereas the table we can see all of them at the same time. Okay. Okay. So a form can be used to look at the to enter new data because we can enter new data now using the form. Click on the last one. Family name, Jakob. King. Yeah, we can write all the details. We could do that, okay, using the form. Or we can look at what we have what uh, we have entered before. We can uh, use it for viewing, for looking, or for entering. Okay, if we want to change the form, what do we do? What can we change? Click on view. View, view, design view. All right, and press F4, please. When you press F4, it gives you a property window. Press F4. Okay, we have here, right? And on the on the property window, we can change many things, but I'll just show show you one thing now. For example, uh, picture. We can add picture to the form. Okay, I have just added a picture to our form. Yeah, using the property window. Okay, you could do things like that. There are many other things you can change. I'll just show how to create the form one more time. Very simply, create form wizard. Do one more time, form wizard. And pick, pick the, no, 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 no. You need to pick the table first. Pick the equipment table. We have done the other one. The member one we did, and then now we are doing the equipment. Okay, yes, we didn't do. Yes. That's okay. Next. Justified. Finish. Okay. Uh, before you go, I want each of you, everyone, to create at least one form. If you are very good, you create the three forms. Next week, we are doing queries. Yeah? We are doing queries, uh, more forms, queries, and also, uh, what are the questions you have so far? Things you want me to go through again. Look up. Is everyone happy with look up? The form wizard, you try it now. You'll be okay. It's easy. Look up. More about look up. How about input ta input mask? Input mask. What's input? Index. Index is uh, not. We don't need it now. 
uh, we need it, but it's not urgent now. Okay, and it's not that difficult. Anything, any, you know, it was at level two, but not now. You are doing level three. Okay, any any other question? Any other question for now or for next week? Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you homework. Okay, it's on record now. Okay, I, I am going to give you homework. Uh, all right, listen. I want you to research. Hello? I would like you to research about referential integrity rules. Okay, I will type it for you. Okay. Uh, homework. Just homework. One is research. And write about one or two paragraphs. or two paragraphs about referential integrity rules you need to write what it is what it is and why it is important i tell you it's extremely important referential integrity rules okay and uh, the explanation yeah for it is on the web you can also find uh, go and find youtubes we are going to look at it again next week but i would like you to read about it yeah i would like you to read about it before you come next class okay in fact uh you know even if you email me it would be a good idea if, if so that i know how many of you have read about it because i do not want to be uh when we discuss it next week i want you to have some idea referential integrity rules that is the only homework I'm giving now. Yeah? Uh, those of you who, who, who have not created the tables, the relationships yet, yeah? You need to do that. You need to create the forms. Okay? We have a bit of time now for creating the forms. It doesn't take long. Okay? But. Huh? Okay, I shall close the, uh, the YouTube, the video now.